looking at a, a bad woman and oh, I'm in love, I want to marry. These dudes is more manipulated by these Disney movies than these broads. They wrapped up into the same things they see on TV and they want a woman for all the most superficial reasons. And then they get with the woman and time passes and all the looks fade, the honeymoon phase is gone and then what you got? You got this woman who you didn't investigate is a terrible person, she don't respect you, she don't even really like you like that. And these women are getting with men who they only see being beneficial. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And to be honest with you, it's it's tough, you know, finding that. That's yeah. why I think, why do you think the divorce rate is so high? Why do you think there's so many different single women and men? Why, why do you feel that, that is? I think because, number one, dudes are starting to wake up and say, this don't make sense, right? What, what am I getting married for exactly, right? What is this woman bringing to the table? All she's bringing is a liability. If this doesn't work, she can take half of my money. Not only that, a woman changes when you get married. When a woman has leverage on you, things change. A man may know a woman for four or five years, they're together. The moment she has a, gets pregnant by that man, he says, oh, she started changing because of the baby. No, she didn't start changing because of the baby and hormones. She started changing because she now has leverage on you. Same thing with uh, marriage. She changed once she got into that marriage because now she's secure and knows she can take money from you if she leaves. So now she has leverage. So dudes are starting to wake up and say, I don't know if I want to give this woman leverage on me. Wow. So and then, I, I want to speak to that. Go ahead, man. go ahead. Okay, a lot of times when you talk about marriage, you're talking about a Eurocentric mentality, right? We've been anglicized in this country to have a Eurocentric perspective. In Africa, they don't get married. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't do, they jump a broom and stuff, but they don't have the same contract as he said. That's what I was telling you yesterday. I said, when you go and you buy a car, you got to register. You go and you uh, register with the state. When you get married, you got to register, register the state because you're claiming ownership. And that's what somebody do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they like buying a car. They register you, and they say, this person is registered to me, and legally, you know what I'm saying, I own this person. And that's what you're doing. You know what I mean? You're allowing yourself to be owned and purchased, you know what I'm saying, by this specific person. But, you know, if you're a free-thinking mind person, and you're and you, and you coming from an Afrocentric perspective, you can change, as he said, the paradigm. You can change the mentality. You change the mentality, you change the reality. So a lot of people, you know, like me personally, I don't look at marriage from a Eurocentric perspective. You know what I'm saying? I do, as the brothers say, look at it as a contract. But I can break the contract when I get ready. You know what I'm saying? I can change the, the subject matter. I can take control of the situation. You know, uh, I also think one of the reasons why the divorce rate is so high, it's not because, you know, uh, so much the female, Goldie kind of hits on the nail. It's the man don't have value on themselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when you're a valuable man, when you're when you an alpha man, and you're a real king, and you know how to reinvent yourself, and you know how to stay relevant, that woman gonna always be down with you. I say the key to having a woman is to be able to go to different levels. If you doing the same thing at 40 with your bra that you was doing at 20, y'all lost 20 years. Y'all lost 20 years. So the key to the game is to always elevate, always take your woman to another level, always elevate yourself. You know me, Cody know me, y'all watch my career. I have not been the same dude. I've always elevated. And you know, even when I came to the mogul status, I didn't just become a mogul. I signed Boosie, I signed Ice-T, I signed Corey Wise, you know, did a deal with Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? I've created my own entity called Hip Hop Fraternity. That's what a woman respects. But when you're in a relationship, and like Goldie say, you're playing a NBA 2K, and you're getting fat, and you know, you farting and all that stuff around the house, you know, you're dividing yourself. So now, she say the same thing that everybody say. I bought a Rolls Royce Rafe. I opened the menu and said it was a crisis 300. Damn, God Hey, they chose, you, they chose wrong. Listen, dudes don't know how to choose women. They do not know how to choose, right? They choosing women based on, like you said, all these superficial outward things. Not knowing, hey man, it don't matter. Yeah, you wanted to have sex where after you have sex with her a hundred times, then what? After you done looked at her pretty, pretty face a thousand times, then what? It got to be something deeper. And when you realize, man, she's not a good individual. She doesn't have good character. You didn't ask where your morals align, where your ideologies align. You, these dudes are not looking at these things that actually matter that's going to sustain a relationship they're getting with people on the most shallow level these dudes are mentally uh children 
they're looking at a, a bad woman and oh I'm in love I want to marry her. these dudes is more manipulated by these Disney movies than these broads they wrapped up into the same things they see on TV and they want a woman for all the most superficial reasons and then they get with the woman and time passes and all the looks fade the honeymoon phase is gone and then what you got you got this woman who you didn't investigate is a terrible person she don't respect you she don't even really like you like that and these women are getting with men who they only see being beneficial women don't get the guy that they like they get the man who's going to take care of them do this and do that which means they don't really like him you not her first choice because you didn't pick the woman that likes you for real you're gonna have problems later down the line i'm picking a woman and telling dudes hey man pick that woman who really like you these dudes is chasing a woman running from them and denying a woman that like them you need to get the woman who really like you that's number okay. one and dudes they skip that step you get the woman that really like you yeah and you and her y'all hanging out and y'all been together y'all been running around for about two years together yeah. and all of a sudden you know she see you for some reason she feel like she want to raise her hand and Put hands on you. Yeah. If she hits you, and y'all get to arguing, what would, what do you do? What do what do go? Do? Okay. If I'm out with a woman, let's say I couldn't even imagine this happening. Let's just say you know in a, in a, a parallel universe, man, a woman put her hands on me. Man, listen, I'm not about to put my hands on a woman. You ain't got power over me like that. I ain't finna go to jail in here, right? I'm not gonna get to arguing with you. Most likely, let's just say, like, real talk, if a woman did some shit like that to me, I'm going to play that shit so smooth like I ain't tripping. Damn, baby, chill, watch out. You know, whatever we going to do, I'm not even going to alert her to me being upset. I'm going to end the night on a, on a good note, and I'm never going to speak to her again. Wow. Because I'm a player. I already decided when you did that, you violated something you can never come back from. So I ain't got to argue with you about nothing. We ain't, we ain't nothing to talk about. But I'm not going to make her more upset and more irate by telling, bitch, I ain't fucking with you no more. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Why am I doing that? I've already decided what I'm going to do. I'm not going to escalate the situation even further and piss her off. And then it'd be really a situation. I'm going to keep it player. I'm going to drive home. I'm going to drop her off. I'm going to block her, change my number, and that's going to be it. What about a scenario of uh, <laughs> you You wake up, she's sitting there on the, on the, on the chair just crying because she... She don't use your face card on 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 on, on the iPhone, and she looking through the messages and she see all this stuff she didn't know about. What what do, what do Goldie do? I mean, shit. I'm just, she, she upset, man. I'm gonna just tell her like this. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you to get over it because you're ruining my mood right now. Right? You shouldn't have did that. You did it. It is what it is. Now I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to get it together, but in a minute, either you gonna have to leave or I'm gonna have to leave because you fucking my vibe up. And that's it. And that's it. Because with me, man, my women, my women don't have no place to tell me what I can and can't do. So if you did that, you did that on your own. You must want to be upset. But don't mess my day up about it. Do what you want to do. That's what I'm going to ask. Hey, well, listen, what you want to do? Because we can't just sit here and cry all day. You want to leave? You want me to leave? Let's figure this shit out because I want you to stop crying. Wow. Wow. What you think? It, it, have you ever woke up and, and, and somebody been through your phone? <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah! That should happen for real. Hey man, you know that that, that is the most uh, demoralizing, the most inhuman thing that a woman can do. Because what happens is, man, you know, you feel like you're being violated. You know, and actually, you know, it's a crime, right? You can actually prosecute somebody from going through your really? personal. Yeah, know that. yeah, yeah. You can prosecute somebody from going through your personal thing. So you know. Uh, uh, sometimes you got to be the judge, the jury, and the executionist. You know what I'm saying? So I may, you know, use a bunch of adjectives and, <laughs> you know, uh, you gonna uh, come out of, words, you going to come out of character? You gonna come <laughs> hey, man, look, man. Hey, hey, man, E, E, this shit happened. You know, it happened to me several times, you know. And you know what? I, I, you know, I try to rationalize and I try to tell myself, you know, boy, you a cold motherfucker. You got these hoes going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I try to tell, I try to trick myself. Like, this bitch didn't just violate me, man. But this hoe really did this some faggot shit, right? But I'm like, yeah, you a cold motherfucker. You hoes love you, boy. I'm all in the mirror. I'm trying to give myself a pep talk. But I know this bitch is the most out of pocket shit you can do because, you know, she's violating my personal uh, information. You know, that is my uh, privacy. And she's violating my privacy. And I hate that shit. Shit, man, you know, and that's why I keep a lock on my goddamn phone. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> the I don't. Vault. Want, now you remember the vault? You don't know but, the but vault. See, but see, but see, but see, you know what though? It never happened to me in the game. The shit only happened when you're not as Goldie like to say, living that 99 percent exactly. principle that don't nobody want to. That the average man can't live. And when you try, when you dumb down and you kind of condescend and you go down to another. 
a square level and you try to square up and do the right thing, that's when you have the most problem. Man, let me tell you something, man. These squares is way more ruthless than these hoes. Man. A square bitch, man, it can be the most, like he said, she'll key your car, she'll go through she'll your phone, you in jail too. she'll put you in jail. Get you fired from your job. You know what I'm saying? Get you fired from that's your job. That's why you got to keep you know, it real. Uh, 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 call other bitches in your phone. Yeah. You know, so to me, you know, I kind of agree with the, the pimps and the players that, you know, that is, you know, in, in, in essence, we're talking about in essence, it's a better lifestyle. Because when you're dealing, you know, with these squares, man, it's just a whole nother world, man. But hoes, this is so much more respect, respectable and they so much in, more in pocket, you know. And I think that's why a lot of guys, you know, do not want to give up the pimping because it's hard to go to a square broad after you've been in the game. Do you yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.